Hello, this is Judd with Presenter Media. Do you try to load or copy and paste an image, a clear PNG image into PowerPoint, and now you're getting a black background and you didn't get a black background before? Um, if that's you, follow along in this video and I'll show you how um, you can use a different method to insert your images and do away with the black background. So uh, let's get started. If you have a PNG, PNG image with a clear background, you can use that. I'm going to go on to Presenter Media here and go to My Media and Uploads. I've already uh, customized a clipper image especially for this video. It says Presenter Media Times, remove black background in PowerPoint. So I'm going to download this to my computer. All right, save. Now that I've got it saved onto my computer, I can go to PowerPoint. And then inside PowerPoint, I want to go up to the um, top menu and click on insert and then click on pictures from the images options here pictures and then click from the drop down menu this device and then you want to search for where wherever you have your PNG image saved on your computer and then click on it and click insert and now it will load into your PowerPoint slide with a clear background and no more black background so use that method instead of copying and pasting into PowerPoint. Um, for some people, the copying and pasting still works where it loads in with a clear background. But if you're watching this and you're getting the black background, um, something has changed inside PowerPoint um, where you can't do that um, if you've been able to do that in the past. So use this, um, this new method. Uh, that's again, go to insert at the top menu, go to pictures, and then this device, and then choose the image you have saved on your computer and insert it. So really that's it for this video. Um, if you're a Presenter Media customer, um, I can show you, if you don't have the PowerPoint Presenter Media add-in installed already, you can install that um, right now, and this will bypass the whole downloading to your computer and then having to click insert and then ins um, inserting it into your slide. So what you can do if you don't have the uh, if you don't have the in the add-in already installed, you can go up to home and then go to the far right of the ribbon of options and click add-in and then go get add-ins. And then in the search bar, just type in presenter media and then click add and that will add that to your um, to your ribbon up here. You can see that I already have it um, added to my ribbon and then I already have the task pane open over here with the add in. And then if I go down to the bottom, I'm just going to choose clip art and I'm going to choose um, looks like we're making Halloween graphics for this month. And I'm just going to choose this vampire boy. So all I need to do is click this plus sign and you can see that it has installed or sorry, inserted that clip art image with a clear background. I can also go to my media where I was at before, where I downloaded it to my computer first. But now with the add in, I can just click add to presentation and close that. You can see that that is now um, installed. So if you're a presenter media customer, just keep that in mind. You might want to install the PowerPoint add-in to save some time of downloading to your computer first, then going and searching where you um, downloaded it to and then inserting that way. Um, this way you can use the presenter media add-in to quickly add clip art, animations, videos, music, all these things to your, your, your presentation, PowerPoint presentation, uh, very fast, instantly. Um, and then you can also use the customization tools to customize um, any um, clip art or animations or videos that will um, build on our servers. And then um, once they're done, you can instantly add them to your slides. Uh, without don't download it, downloading those to your computer as well. All right. Well, thanks for following along. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.